Today, I got some nice aroma tomatoes, and I got a whole bunch of my cherry tomatoes from my garden. The aroma tomatoes I got from a roadside stand just, just a little while ago, but I got such a good deal on them, I thought, you know what? I'm going to bring them home, mix them in with my cherry tomatoes, and I'm going to make a really nice, fresh spaghetti, or, um, tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And I'm also... Depending on how much I get, I may just can it up. So, but anyway, I don't peel them. I don't blanch them. I just wash them really good. Cut the end off. Cut any bad spots off. And I put them in my big soup pot. This is so easy to do. And you don't have to peel your tomatoes, you know, or blanch them really if you're going to do this this way, like the, like the fresh way I'm doing it. Because your, the tomato skins have a lot of nutrients in them. So this way I can keep those nutrients too. And this makes a wonderful sauce. And you can can it. Or you can freeze it. Either way. These are some beautiful Roma tomatoes. Then I got a bunch of cherry tomatoes. That's a good way to use up cherry tomatoes. I have got so many. I'm telling you, I've been giving them away, and we've been eating them, and I thought I still got tons, so I thought I'm just going to add it to this sauce. It'll be wonderful. Remember, just cut any bad spots off. It's all good. So, I'm going to finish cutting these up, and I'll bring it back when I get it ready to put on the stove. Okay, friends, I got this on the stove. It filled up my pot. Now, I'm going to want to bring this just about to a boil and, you know, more liquid will form. I don't have any liquid in here. I just plain tomatoes. The liquid will form. I've got some salt and pepper that I'm going to add to this. And then as it starts to cook down, I'll stir that in. So, once it comes up to almost a boil, I'm just going to turn it down and I'm going to simmer it for about 20 minutes or so. So when I get to that point, I'll bring you back. Okay, friends. And you see how nice that is breaking down. And there's a lot of liquid in here. So now what I'm going to do is quite simple. You can use fresh garlic. I'm just using some of my minced garlic. And I'm going to put about two good tablespoons in here. Because my family loves garlic. Okay, those were half tablespoons, by the way. So I put two full tablespoons in there. All right, now I'm going to put a good quarter cup of olive oil in here. Maybe I'll, I'm going to do a little bit more, about half of that. There we go. Okay. Now I'm just going to mix this all up really good. And I'm going to let it continue to cook down. So after it cooks down a little bit more, I'm probably going to let it cook down for a good hour or so. Then I'm going to take my immersion blender to it. And I'll bring it back when I do that. This stuff turns out wonderful. You can add more spices if you want. I'm not going to. I'm just strictly going to do the garlic and a little bit of the oil. That's all I'm putting in here because I, when I make this, because if I can it, that's how I can it. And then when I, you know, open, crack open a jar and, and uh, make my spaghetti or goulash or whatever it is I'm making, then I add my um, spices accordingly. So that's it. We're going to put the lid back on this and we're going to let this simmer down. I got the heat turned down to medium low and we're just going to let it simmer away. Okay, friends, you can see how that has cooked, like right down to almost nothing. So now, I'm going to take my immersion blender, and I'm just going to grind this up really good. And 
doesn't take long. You can keep it as chunky as you want or grind it as thin as you want. But this is what grinds up all the skins. You don't have any. You won't even know there was any in here. Set that right on my counter there. See how nice that turns out? Now I have to grind it a little more because there's some skin in there. So I'll keep grinding. It might take you a little bit, but it's well worth it. Just grind it all in. Absolutely beautiful. And it's just garlic, um, salt, and pepper, and a little bit of oil. That's all I put in this. And then when you're, you know, when you open it, now you can season it all you want. You can put all the seasonings in you want right now, but I'm just going to leave mine fairly plain because I never know what I'm going to add to it. I'm going to take that little piece of skin out. So, if you give me a few minutes, I'll be back and I'll show you how we can this up. Okay, friends, I've got my tomato sauce all ready to can up. And I have got my jars in a 275 degree oven because that's going to keep them hot. So I'm going to just pull a couple out just to show you how I can this up. Okay. Don't touch it. It's screaming hot. Okay. Slide this over. This is wonderful. Make sure your jars are all clean and hot because this hot sauce, if it goes into a cold jar, you're going to get thermal shock. I'm only going to leave about, I like to leave about a half inch of head space. That's about it. That looks beautiful. Okay. Now these are hot, going into hot jars. The sauce is hot going into hot jars. From there it's going to go into a hot can. And then I'm going to water bath it for about 35 minutes for these pints. Okay, let me set that aside. Now, I've got a cloth here. Oh boy, those are hot. I've got a cloth here that I have got dampened with vinegar. So you're gonna wanna wipe the rim. Always wipe your rim. All right, now I also have my lids over here in hot water. Not boiling, just hot. I'm going to put them on there. Ooh, that's hot. Just finger tight. Okay? And that's it. Those are going to go into a hot water bath for 35 minutes. I'm going to get the rest of these done and I'll show you the process. Friends, my jars are ready to go into the canner. I got my little pint size one here. So I'll touch those because those are hot.
okay, and if you can see that, let me put my light on. My water is a good inch over that jar. If I go any farther, it would overflow on this pan. But I just make sure that they're completely submerged in the water. I'm going to put the lid on it, and when it starts to boil, not before, when it starts to boil, that is when I'm going to time it for 35 minutes. And when it's done, I'll bring you back. Hey, friends. That is done. And it's still bubbling a little. That's all right. Let me get these out of here. Look at how nice that looks. That turned out gorgeous. Absolutely. Now when you open these jars up, if you make it just the way I did, you can make it for spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce, pizza sauce, whatever you want. You can add all the spices to it and make it different every time. I find this the easiest way. And there you have it, friends. Isn't that beautiful? I just got another batch to run, and it'll be all done. But there you have it. That is the easiest way that I can show you how to make tomato sauce. So there you have it, friends. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.